Mari? Are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything just went really dark. It's so dark the light bulb doesn't even light it. Wait a second. Oh wait, so welcome back party people, welcome back to one shot. Um, ah shit, so when they said everything went dark, I assumed that they meant that they like went unconscious, but now it sounds like they were just here in the darkness waiting for me. That's the worst. Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, last time we bu got a bunch of stuff and I don't know what to do with them all yet, but I'm feeling like, um, oops, let me get used to these controls again. It's been a while since I last recorded. So, is this the gas that I need? It's the gas one. So, can I go ahead and put it in the empty bottle? Oh wait, no, I don't want to combine those. Can't reach the top, Mary. Oh, you can't reach the top. So maybe I can find one that I can reach. Because I was uh, looking back at my recording of the last one, and there's that recipe where you need the gas, and you need to put it in there, and then you need to cover it, and then you need to put the other thing with the syringe. But I'm going to have to find one that I can reach sake of that. Whoa! Oh, that must be the, the one, the phosphor that I need. You want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Mary? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato chowder in a baby bottle. <laughs> and then I got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. Oh no, you have a like a baby brother and sister. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use puddles. And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. <laughs> oh, babysitting. Anyway, we should probably look for a puddle or something. I I don't I don't have one of those yet, do I? I uh Could I put it in the sponge? The sure looks different, the looks like jelly. Mm. Syringe? So we're filling the syringe, Mary? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Oh, it's a syringe with a needle? Take the needle off. <laughs> hey, it actually went in. Gross. Oh, excellent. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> We got it right here! Alright, so I still need to find a gas that I can reach. But then, once I have it, I should be able to squirt this into there. <gasps> there we go! God, that, that took me a long time to find. What's this note say? Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Oh yeah, the shrimp, shrimp do a lot for you. Alright, so, gas? I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Murray? Mm-hmm. That ought to do it. Alright. So now I got gas in the bottle. Bottle of smoke. So I need to... I need to get this in there. Fill the syringe in the bottle of smoke. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Mary? <laughs> I'm glad there's a cork there. It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. Yeah, you read the notes. It changed color. Bottle of acid. Alright, so I think we need to take that over to the robot and, and give him some lubrication. I think he's right down over here. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I probably have to put it on the sponge. Um, bottle of acid and sponge. I guess you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge, Mary? Good thing I have these gloves. Yeah, that's right. I hope this works. What sponge? Oh, I lost my bottle. <laughs> Alright. Hey, robot. <gasps> I guess it, uh, you didn't like, need power after all. Or somehow that other thing is powering him? I don't know. I am functional. <laughs> Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Mary, help me. But yeah. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? 
Are you okay? I cannot move. <laughs> well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Mary and I will find a way to help you. Oh, what? Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. Oh, maybe that's dialogue I could have gotten even without the sponge. Lair, how's that? I Yeah, I guess that one generator must power all these robots somehow? There's like all these like... It, it, it gives like external power over the air. <laughs> I can move again, thank you! Oh, I made a little heart. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glenport number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's no good. <laughs> it is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Head engineer, is that is that silver? Because I remember that note saying that, you know, uh, they had sent a robot to take over and the lady wasn't sure about it because the robot had caused the last accident. So I wonder if that was silver. I wonder if that's silver's past. And that's why she's so such a stickler about safety violations because cause maybe, maybe something happened. Oh yeah, yeah, you're all moving around now. I am functional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to take a nap by chance? Oh wait, that's not the right one. Let's fast travel! Actually, I keep trying to select with the other button because I've been playing on the Nintendo. God damn it. Uh... Cow point? Excuse me again, miss. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is a girl. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Oh, Nico actually already knows what she is. All right, what is the issue? It said about it, something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Mary and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. <gasps> it's a clover like I saw in that file thing. Look at my cute little Nico. That's a very pretty necklace. What's, what's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Sigh, I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you! Oh, is that a keepsake from, like, Kip or something? Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah! Well, sort of. I played it with some older kids before. <laughs> Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess that's the least I could do. Oh, are they just gonna play chess? You're really good at this! Thank you. It was built into my code. Oh, so what's it like, being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots, and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the rob robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. <laughs> Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. <laughs> I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. <laughs> Knight. Right. Oh, have you been to any other regions? I heard there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world will be very a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sudden sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh, then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee this thing will work out. But... Checkmate. Alright, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. 
I hope you come home, get home safely. Oh, thank you also. Oh no. Silver. Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. This is sad. Oh man. Yeah, I, I realized I have no idea exactly how long ago their son went out. I guess those are the clovers. What a bummer zone. Oh yeah, we have amber. A piece of glowing amber with a black clover inside. So we need to go show that to our robo friend. Our robot. Oh, this is the amber from the glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system, setting course, wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore or this ga these gas muscle and gloves. Boo, that is acceptable. Onwards we go. You have a very light boat if it can only hold one Nico with no extra possessions. Look, look at this cute. Oh, I see. It doesn't even have like a lower half of its body. It's just built into the boat. Nico, Nico. <gasps> Here is your step. The Glen. Your stop. <laughs> Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, well, it's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Ah, that again, huh? Man! Well, we're in the glen now and there's all these pretty fireflies. What this? Whoa, isometric craziness. This really reminds me of off. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> just, just a block. Uh, hello, what are you? Um, excuse me, excuse me. The star's full of fireflies. I'm catching fireflies for mommy. Are you, are you a robot? I don't know. I don't know. Alula? Alula, where did you go? Mary, did you hear that? Alula. I think it's coming from southeast of here. <laughs> oh, is that, that that cute bird boy I've seen in some of the art? Oh, it's a baby! Hey, you there. Have you seen a little girl? She's a little bit shorter than you and... Wait, that's the sun! Are you our savior? I... yeah? Oh my stars! <laughs> wait, wait, I think actually this is a girl. Oh, they're so cute! Oh my stars! Sorry for my rudeness! <laughs> uh, it's alright, are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, a little shorter than you, long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. What, where was the place you saw her last? Back inside the ruins. She said she was heading towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Maybe that's a boy. <laughs> Are you from the village? No. Uh, so I, I gotta do a gender neutral voice. I don't remember why, but our father left the village while we were still young. We lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her too. There we go. That's definitely accurate. But that seemed like... Wait, so they had a father and stuff? I guess that was not a robot. That's like a bird person. Or maybe it's just a person that dresses like a bird. What's up, dude? Water sample collection in progress. Looks like there's like weird bubblies on the water. So yeah, I assume like the barons, I can travel the whole perimeter. The doorway is full of vines, Mary. We have to get something to remove them. 
Oh, here's another one of these guard bots. The sun, you're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in this scroll first. All right, do you have a pen? Um, no, <laughs> I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. All right, so is that the final item I'm gonna need to get here? It looks like a stoplight tree. All right, what this? Hello, person. Please do note that the ruins below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There is no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. <laughs> I did not plan to move in. Oh, is this flooding right here? Or is that just like a pool? Indoor pool? Oh, there's a lot of vines. Because our vines are blocking the way. What we got, what we got. Getting lost, what we got. Lots of boxes, lots of water. Oh, there's a robot. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Yeah, I met one of them. Pathway is blocked by blocks. <laughs> it's so tiny. You can't just jump over it. RPG. Up, up, up. Very mysterious place. It's all dark. Is this the ruins? Whoa. Savior. I can't believe it. You're real. This? Are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could... It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But... The sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No, it will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... Well... Oh, would it, would it be too selfish of me to ask? Of course not. This is a friggin' dying wish. What shall I do, Mary? Give her the sun. Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. the sun. We're leaving it with her for now. Mm. Hope that doesn't turn out to be a mistake, but I gotta give it to, to her. She seems so sad. But now we should be able to get up to the, the vine door. Hup, tup, tup. What's up, dude? The vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. I see ya. Oh. What? Little sheepy. <laughs> Wait, you made a different sound this time. <laughs> this is kind of randomized. That's cute. Couple of fireflies are buzzing around in a jar. That, do they do like the same thing the phosphorus shrimp do? They provide power? I rang a bell bell. Hey! Hey, uh, you're here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Mm, do we have something like that, Mary? I don't think so. Yeah, we don't have anything we can really trade. I, or, I mean, those things seem important. Hey, yeah. You hear a train. Okay, same thing. Wait, so is that not? Is that not your little sister? It looks like... I guess you just have one feather on your head? Maybe just like everyone that lives here is bird people. They have super cute designs. What this? 
This looks like an altar. Some kind of cloak or shawl folded neatly. A pair of shoes and some jewelry. It's a staff. Reminds me of the one that robot from the Barons was holding. It's an orb. The material looks like amber. Like this one. Can I put the amber on, on, on the altar? Eh. Boop. Can I ring the bell? Will anyone come? Guess not. I wonder at what point, like... I, I, I believe there's like a bad end you can get, so I don't know when that becomes a thing that I have to worry about. These look like herrings, or anchovies, maybe sardines. <laughs> I honestly have no clue. The flood could take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. <laughs> Alright, so they're being flooded. Wait, you seem- oh wait, that's all just like, junk. Whoa! There's a lot of shiny things. Glass shards, glass marbles, empty glass bottles, mostly empty glass bottles, glass bottles filled with different things, bits of string, colored wool, plain wool, fabric scraps, a rusty bucket, scrap metal shells, some rocks. What's all this for, by the way? I just think they're neat. Oh, because you're a bird person? You like to collect, like, shiny things? I didn't hear a pen listed there, though. Oh, I see a fishing rod. That's a wagon stuffed with stuff. It sure is. <laughs> you're a suspicious customer. Well, that's a very excited sheepy. <laughs> that was a Binding of Isaac style sound. That was terrifying. Alright, you're all normal, right? Thank goodness. Hey, do you have anything to say about your crazy sheep? Oh, look! It's me! <laughs> Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, yes. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Oh no, I gotta do a puzzle. She just has my voice because uh, clearly this is me. Alright, so... Wait, you're on... You're on... You're on the bright. You need to be on the dark. Wait, I don't think that's the one that I'm worried about. Oh, there's a town. There's a little village. Hello, bird person. The land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses to the intruding sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. Huh, interesting. So the barrens appeared because the floodwaters receded, but now those waters seem to be covering this area rather than the barrens. wonder how that works. What's in these houses? More bird people! Hey, cute bird person. It's slowly being chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think doesn't matter. One day the world will finally give it up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. <laughs> I'm bringing back the sun, though. That won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said. But don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world would die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like moss. I guess people eat those. Yeah, boy. This is it, the last of our grain surpluses. And now we're dealing with a vermin problem. Maybe you can get cats? Not that I'm a cat, I mean. <laughs> you protest too much. Oops. <laughs> this looks like flour. Heads of wheat. Heads of wheat. Oops. <laughs> well, your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Just like the sun. Dang it, I keep getting messed up because the door comes down even though it goes up outside. That's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. <laughs> like a futon? That's a thing. Some kind of stew. Coals. Well, a pretty big village. Hello, little bird girl. You're gonna get dizzy if you keep spinning around like that. <laughs> I'm the tower! Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight into the world. I want to see it too! Well, I'm here now. I guess it'll only be a matter of time again. Wait, so- oh, I see. So I guess the sun is in the tower, but the tower is like a lighthouse, and so it, it creates day by pointing in a specific direction. Is this- is this game really about flat eartherism? <laughs> Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. <laughs> I don't say that about me. Of course, I'm, I'm a cube. It's totally different. 
Can I can I go in there? Guess not. not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Oh, Some kind of stew. Wonder if I can have that later. You got anything cool to say, bird person? Most of the green moss covering our village has already lost its glow. But if it wasn't for the thin strip left of the boundaries of the land, people could easily fall into the ocean. Without light, land and water become indistinguishable here. Oh, man. I do like how you can always see Nico's eyes glowing in the dark like that. Hello. There was a time where our people used to live in these ruins, but due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The glen used to be in one piece, you know? But now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Aww. Feels weird walking around without my light bulb. Hey, 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 little girl. 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 Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so we made a circle. I see. And then this will take us back to where we came from. Huh. So it sounds like this town is the ruins, but I didn't see the, the girl that I'm looking for with the long hair and the two feather. Oh, but I gotta do some sort of sheep puzzle. That's right. How do I do the sheep puzzle? The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. Oh. Wait, is it over here? That's where I was chewing a ball of moss. Now I'm curious, what do you think that tastes like, Mary? The moss, not the ram. <laughs> The light from these lanterns will have to do for now. I'm starting to see some very small sprouts. It will probably take some time for these to bear fruit. Are you doing your best? I'm gonna step on them. Small sprouts. I gotta be careful I don't step on these. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see this ram. Yeah, he's chewing on that little, little moss ball. Okay. What if, what if I show my amber to you? I don't think it's right to trade this away, Mary. Oh, hey, you have one of those coin things. I've dug up a couple of these before. Oh? Yeah, there's this guy who would trade me the best things for them. Oh? Like one time, he brought me this little machine that plays music. I don't know what it's called, but ha you have to wind it up. Music box? <laughs> That's it. I wish that guy would come back soon. I haven't seen him in forever. I want to do more trades with him. Hmm. Was that the mysterious hot guy? There's a guy in, like, a hat with some stubble. He looked pretty cute. What, wait, trade this? Don't you want to find out what it says first, Mary? What's that, a book? Uh, not sure if I take books. I can't read. <laughs> okay, yeah. But they did hint at that guy for me. Oh! Hello again, Mary. Whoa! The, the background on my computer, it was black, but now it's like maroon, as you can see. So he like changed it. It seems I ha need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily acceptable place on your machine. Oh, is it on the desktop? Do you see it? Um, I'm looking... Exported presets. I don't see any new, any new icons. I'm gonna say no, I don't see it. I know you're not exactly that bright for God, Mary, but this shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> oh, wait! There it is! It, 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 it's it was behind the game screen. Oh, wait, there we go. So, uh, um... I don't know, I, I mean, it's definitely, it's a symbol, is that telling me, like, the solution to a puzzle that I haven't found yet? It's like a beep, and then it's a boop, and then the badoop. 
Alright, dude. You think you're so cool? Let's poke around a bit. It really isn't hard to miss. Oh, wait. Is that, is that it? So I haven't figured it out yet. You remember the document, correct? This time it's even more obvious. What's the most easily accessible place on your machine? Yeah, so... Wait, I'm gonna sort my desktop to make sure it didn't, like, go somewhere else. Alright, well, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully that symbol was whatever I needed. Huh. Wasn't there another door that also had vines over it? Or did that just lead to a place that I already got to? Is it here? Ooh, a bed! Oh, can I take one of those, uh, dreamy naps? I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course! You can close the game. Yeah. Ooh, I noticed the symbol that he gave me went away. Well, I'm gonna open the game right back up. Got another cute little dream. Oh, that one's super cute. <gasps> what do you see? A little town? Is that where you live? Do you have a nice dream, Nico? Mari, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village, but then I woke up. Sigh. Oh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen are a bunch of weird trees, and those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Mary? Yeah. Oh. They're really pretty, aren't they? The ones around my village go oh, the one around my village goes for miles. The plants are really tall, sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean of food. <laughs> oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too, like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Mary. <laughs> I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride in a boat <laughs> through one. The, the, the happy eyes. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Uh, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Mary. It's a little hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. But long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. <laughs> me too. Oh good, I can actually tell them me too. Really? Even though you're a god? <laughs> yeah. I see. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear, otherwise I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me, so thanks for that. Anyways, maybe we should head out now, Mary. Oh man, I'm actually going to end the episode here, so I will start the next one, hopefully, where I have found uh, whatever I need to be finding. But we, we're making progress, we found a lot of adorable bird people, and, and we saw another adorable dream. I had to use a nightlight till I was like, what, early teens? Cause, cause of nightmares. <laughs> so now you learn something about me. Anyways, good night everybody. Wait, or what? See ya. Not good night. I have no idea what time it is where you are. See you next time. Wink. <laughs>